Hello, 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 and welcome to episode four of Dragon Head Gaming. And we are out on the beach today, and today's theme is going to be boats. All right, we have a few kind of boats here today. We have single, multi, and uh, we also have a Star Wars one. Let's we'll start off with that one. That is right over here, this pod racer. Now, I built the chassis just mainly out of large fuel tanks, because there is two jet engines. Stuck it on pontoon so it'll fly across the water. It does go across land as well. Um, I got my, of course, wires going, connecting the jets. Um, I do have the dive brakes on there for the realism of uh, what the pod racer looked like. But they have zero effect on the actual handling of the vehicle. Um, to steer the vehicle, I made the engines operate independently. So if you want to go to the left, you turn on your right engine. You want your engine plane or your boat to go right, you turn on your left. Alrighty, let's go over to the right a little bit here. Get out into some open water. Now, it doesn't do all that well at top speeds, as it does tend to uh, start getting airborne because it's so light. And as you see, air brakes really don't do anything at all. They're just there for the aesthetics of it. Alright, let's pump this up to about 20,000. 22. Alright, so if I want to turn, uh, you know, right, I just lower the RPM on that engine. But like I said, at high speeds, it's really, really touchy. And we're going to go in circles there. Alright. Yeah, the one difficulty I have with this uh, build is just the simple fact that uh, trying to get the RPMs to match up evenly to once you've changed direction, it's really hard. But I do like the fact that it does look like a pod racer. And uh, if you had put a full max engine and then hit a nice bump and sent it airborne, it looks like a pod racer flying through the sky. Alrighty, the other one we have here uh, is my assault boat. Don't have a picture of that one yet, haven't taken one. Now this is a one-person platform for guns. You have four 30mm cannons. You have a full 360 field of view side to side with those two. And with those two you can shoot up in the air at any planes or anything that might be attacking you. Um, you have the thrusters back here for turning. Uh, the one thing I love about this, it is a very stable platform. Let's crank the engines up and get moving here. A um, lot of firepower right in front of you. Um, you want to turn. It's a real quick turn. And as you can see, it just stays right in that direction. Let's crank the engines up to about 15,000 RPM. All right. As you can see, even at this speed, we're still able to get some churning and maintain some nice, smooth sailing across the water. Now we're going to pump it up to about 25. As you can see, we're hitting about 800 kilometers an hour, still maintaining nice speed. Still do drive-bys. Getting lots of firing. All right, now we're gonna head out into open water a little bit. Let's pump this puppy up and see what she can do. All right, we're almost at 50,000 RPM here. All right, now we'll get to speed of just over a thousand. We're gonna click in the afterburner and. Just over 1,500. Let's hit our thrusters. All right, so this thing tops out at just over 1,500. I'm going to go ahead and shut down the engine and slow it down before we hit the edge of the uh, water. Now, just beyond here is the edge of the map. I found once you get there, they do not like you to go that far. All right, let's turn around here. Alrighty. Slow down. We're going to head back. 
Alrighty, now we're going to hop out of this one. Now, I made another variation of this one for multiplayer, which is our floating gun platform. Whoops. Alright, it's a very similar build. The only difference is those guns that uh, you control in the back actually are being controlled by a separate gunner. Um, full up down so he uh, can control in case you're being chased by any planes, dive bombed. Still has pretty much the same handling. Like I said, the platform itself is the same. And you can adjust this how you want it. Just keep the weights nice and even. And you can put whatever you want on this. But the platform itself, very stable. We have four pontoons set up here. Then the thrusters at an angle each way. So if I want to turn, I get nice smooth movement without any issues. Now with this one, you're still going to have the same high speed and everything, which is really good if you're doing drive-bys and you have a gunner that can go ahead and pay attention to what's going on. Alrighty, and crank this up, and we'll show you this one. We can also break the speed of sound without any problem. Now you do want to keep an eye on your fuel. It does have fuel tanks to keep this thing running for... You know, probably at least a good three, four minutes at top speed. Unless you kick in the afterburner, of course. That thing just burns fuel. All right. And just over 1,500 once again. Now, the one thing at these top speeds, if you try and turn, it is going to start catching on the water. And you're going to slow down really quick. But from what I've seen, it does still stay fairly stable. So you can get some high speed maneuvering. Even it. There we go. Alright, I'm going to slow it down here. Oh, hit a buoy, hit a buoy. But as you can see, even if you hit something, still really stable. Alright, we're going to come over here. And let's see if we can't throw this puppy up on land. Woohoo! Airborne! Alright. I'm going to throw this up here, give you a, take a look at it. Since I just had these high-end welds kind of just go up at the end, so it gives you a lower center of gravity for the pontoons. Try to maintain right in the middle. But I got a really wide base and trying to keep everything near the center of uh, the platform. That's the important part to get that stability. Alrighty. Well, I hope you liked this episode of uh, Boats. And keep on watching and feel free to comment and have a good one.